grab your notepad, be ready to take some notes because I'm about to give you the real tea on how to clear your acne. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming the highly requested, long awaited video and that is how I cleared my acne. So I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna give you a quick summary of everything that I was doing wrong that led to me having monthly cystic breakouts for the last two years. Just in case you're also doing these things, so this might help you realize where to start and what you're doing wrong. And if I'm looking down, then I'm just looking at my notes because I have a whole notebook full of notes here. I wanted this video to be straight to the point as well as very informative. That way I don't miss anything and it's easy for you guys to understand. I have been struggling with acne for the last two years and it was a monthly thing. It also got to the point where it became cystic, so a lot more deeper and painful. And the cause of it, I think, was mainly stress and poor diet, meaning I was lacking real nutritional foods in my diet, like veggies, fruits, and probiotic-rich foods, which I will get into in just a second. So when you eat poorly, your body has to find a way to release those toxins, and one of the ways it does that is through your pores, thus creating acne. And when I was breaking out weekly, I would be stressing out about that, so that kind of all all added up and I definitely wasn't listening to my body because clearly it was trying to tell me something and also another thing I was doing wrong was I would be trying out new products weekly almost you guys know I get a lot of PR sent to me and a lot of it is skincare and obviously I get excited so I want to try it out so I start using something and the next week something else would come I start using three other new products which was another huge mistake I didn't have like a set routine so this ended up causing my skin to become even more irritated and I didn't even realize it but then in January of this year I finally took a break from social media work filming just everything and I was like, okay, I have to figure this out and fix this once and for all. So I started doing research to address the problem and that's when I realized that I have to heal my body from the inside out. So I'm gonna break it down for you guys in four to five easy steps and save you all the science talk and weeks of research that I did so that you can start your journey to clear skin today. And trust me, this works because I have tried everything and I mean everything. I will go ahead and insert photos here of how my skin looked before I started doing all of these things and it was bad. It basically got to the point where I had the cystic acne in clusters on this side, this side, my chin, all over my forehead and it was so painful and inflamed and like itchy. And then after I started implementing these things that I'm gonna share with you, the acne was halfway gone the second week and then within a month, it was all cleared. I am on month three now of no breakouts except for one or two on my period, which is what I have right now which I feel like is normal, but it's nothing compared to what I had before because I know this little breakout will be gone within a few days and my skin will stay clear. Also, my skin texture is so smooth now. I don't have any texture whatsoever. Before, I struggled with texture as well. I had those tiny white bumps. I think they're called melia basically all over, especially on my cheeks, and now I don't, it all cleared up. So I am very happy with my results, and even though I have some acne scars left over from the years of damage, I don't care, that's all gonna go away in a matter of weeks. I'm just glad that I finally figured it out, and now all I have left to do is just to deal with the scars, which hasn't been that hard, so if you guys want a video on that, I can also do that, just let me know. So now let's get into how I actually cleared my acne. First, I recommend taking a food intolerance test. This will help you to figure out what foods are actually causing irritation to your body and to your skin. You can do this at your doctor's office or there's at home kits you can buy but this will help you to determine what foods are causing irritation and inflammation in your skin and body so that you can stay away from these foods that are causing you harm or at least limit yourself. For me and most people, those foods are dairy, sugar, and gluten. And I actually cut out sugar and dairy completely from my diet for the first month when I started doing this. But now I kind of just watch what I eat every day and try to consume the tiniest amount possible. Second, I recommend doing some sort of detox to flush out all of the toxins that have built up in your gut. And the detox that I did was just plain celery juice every single morning before breakfast for 30 days. I did it for a whole month straight every single day. And I can't even tell you how dramatically that alone improved my skin and my skin texture. The inflammation from the acne completely went down and, and I know celery juice was hella hyped up a few months ago, but honestly for good reason and I'm glad that I jumped on that bandwagon. I still juice it, but not every single day. I do a couple times a week. It seriously does wonders to your skin. I have seen people who have struggled with eczema for years on medication 
and then when they did celery juice like a full cleanse for a few months their eczema completely went away and was healed so definitely look into celery juice there is so many benefits not just for your skin but the biggest one when it comes to acne is for inflammation it takes down inflammation so quickly which is what acne is it's technically an inflamed pore on your face third thing i did okay so all these steps that i'm mentioning i actually started doing all in the same month so i think in february third thing i did was i incorporated probiotic rich foods again to help heal myself and my gut from the inside out if you guys didn't know probiotics are a good bacteria that live in your gut and help keep you healthy just to list off some probiotic rich foods you have kimchi kefir sauerkraut kombucha creme fraiche cod liver oil probiotic powder you can take or the pills my personal favorite probiotic rich food is kimchi it tastes so good and i go through this whole can in like two weeks and it's easy because you can have this with every meal every day and this helps a lot also when you open the can i'm almost out of this but i love this brand especially because when you open it it's so fizzy like you can hear the fizz and that's how you know there's some real probiotics in here. The other thing I started drinking recently is kombucha once or twice a week. I love the taste of this and it also has amazing benefits just like the kimchi. So these are just examples of the probiotic rich foods that I personally like. You don't have to do these that I'm showing you. You can do whatever ones you want. But I also do bee pollen. This has a bunch of amazing vitamins and minerals and I got all of these three things from the same brand. These I ordered online because I wanted the best of the best. So they are a little expensive. Not the bee pollen. The Bee pollen's like 20 30 bucks but the cod liver oil and the gut pro probiotic supplement powder this stuff is so potent it's like a hundred dollars for this tiny little bottle but it's so worth it this probiotic powder is really potent so you only need the tiniest amount i take like this much like a pinch every day and this also helps with your gut health and the good bacteria in your body I also ordered the cod liver oil, which I'm not really a fan of, but I know that cod liver oil is also packed with amazing nutrients and vitamins that help your skin. I did buy these with my own money, and to me, it's worth it because I research probiotic pills, and most of them that are on the market that you can get at like the drugstore or just anywhere aren't active probiotics, but this one is, and that's why I think it costs a lot. But to me, it's worth it because it's an investment I'm making into myself and my skin, and it has helped me a lot. So now for the fourth thing that I started doing or taking are these three vitamins right here. These three are honestly like the power team. I feel like this is all you need. The first one I'm going to talk about is vitamin A. You can take this by taking foods that have vitamin A in it, um, but I chose to take the pill form. Vitamin A promotes healthier new skin cell growth and it strengthens your skin's tissue from within. It also fights inflammation, which is what acne is. It's an inflamed gland on your skin and same with celery juice. I think all three of these actually fight inflammation, but all three of them have different and similar benefits. It actually has been proven that by taking vitamin A, it gives you smoother, healthier looking skin and it actually promotes collagen as well. In the beginning, I did try out Retin-A, which is a form of vitamin A, but you put it on topically and that wasn't doing anything at all really. It was just kind of burning my skin, if anything, and exfoliating it way too much. The Retin-A topical cream does help, but my issue was more from the inside. So I thought to myself, why don't I just take vitamin A as a pill? And it worked out for me. I started taking vitamin A in February and I haven't missed a day since. I've been taking it every single day, just one a day, super easy. But it has changed my skin in a matter of just two weeks from taking it. These three vitamins obviously have so many benefits other than for your skin. So I suggest you just do a little research, read up on these vitamins, just so that you get a better understanding of what these three vitamins are and what they actually do like the benefits other than for your skin this next vitamin I want to tell you about is vitamin b5 also known as pantothenic acid this one is as effective as the drug accutane in treating acne because it also works at the very first stage of acne formation fun fact i actually read a study about mice who had a vitamin b deficiency which led them to have skin irritations and their fur turning gray but then it was all completely reversed when vitamin b5 was given which to me is just so crazy this also has been proven to help with stress anxiety and also helps build stamina boost your immune system 
serum relieves itching, redness, and improves the elasticity of your skin. So this guy is definitely my number one and I feel like this is the one that also helped to get rid of all the white bumps and the texture I had on my skin. Basically this is what helped to smooth out my texture completely. The white bumps that I had, the like melia and buildup and stuff, completely smoothed out and I noticed the difference within two weeks of taking this daily. The next one I want to talk about is zinc. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. Now it's important to know that there is around three or four different types of zincs. This one, the one that I take is zinc picolini. I think that's how you say it. And the reason I chose this one as opposed to other zincs is because this is the one that is easily absorbed by your body. I read that not all zincs are easily absorbed. Some are really harsh. So if you're taking zinc, it could not even be effective. And this one is not that high of a dose. It's only 30 milligrams because you gotta be careful if you're taking too much zinc, it can actually do the opposite and make you really sick. What zinc actually does is it helps fight off viruses and bacteria and it also has the same anti-inflammatory properties as these other vitamins that I mentioned. And it also helps with over oil production so that your pores don't get clogged. And if your pores aren't getting clogged by the oil production, then acne can't form. This also helps with getting rid of scars. Overall, zinc is really good to have in your diet because it also helps with digestion. And I got this one on Amazon because I had a hard time finding zinc picolinate specifically. <laughs> Lastly, let's talk about the topical treatments that I was doing. So I basically stopped using all of my skincare and I just stuck to two or three products every night because I was overwhelming my skin with so many products every single night. So by reducing the amount of products I was using every single night on my skin, it actually sped up the process of my healing and my skin was way less irritated. After doing tons of research and searching for the most beneficial topical product, I came across the the niacinamide 10% and zinc 1% from The Ordinary. It absorbs super quickly and if you guys didn't know, niacinamide is a form of vitamin B3, which is why I bought this because if I'm treating the acne from the inside by taking vitamin B5 and zinc, now I'm also treating it topically with vitamin B3, which is in the same family as vitamin B5, and this also has zinc in it as well. The best part is this is non-acidic and non-irritating, so it's suitable for all skin types. So so this basically helps reduce the buildup of the bacteria in your pores, which causes acne. And I'm going to list some of the benefits of this. It improves your skin barrier, the dryness, decreases hyperpigmentation, amazing for scars, um, helps shrink pores, decreases redness, irritation, improves skin elasticity. And the number one thing that it does is that it reduces bumpy skin texture, which is funny enough what vitamin B5 also does by taking it, as I mentioned before. I'll actually leave a link below to a video that explains way more in depth about what niacinamide really is, what it does, like basically all the information, but in detail. I'm just giving you like a summary, but I noticed a huge difference in my skin texture right away within, I would say the second week of using it. Now with any skincare product, you want to give it at least 30 days before you throw in the towel and say that it's not working. Cause I used to be like that too, if it's not working. By like the fifth day, I'm like, I don't need you, goodbye. But honestly stick with it and you will see a huge difference because it actually takes your skin longer than five days to see the actual benefits of whatever product you're using. So definitely stick with it. I promise you it works. And the best part is it's actually super cheap because it's not mixed with a bunch of other ingredients is just a high strength vitamin and mineral formula. So that is it for today. I know that was a lot of information. Hopefully you took some notes. Um, I will be filming a skincare routine next, which will include a few more products that have been really helping me, but that's it for this video. I didn't want to overwhelm you guys by including foods, vitamins, and skincare products all in one video. So that's why I'll do my skincare routine separately, which will be coming up next. Subscribe so you don't miss that. Um, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful. I hope that you try out at least a few of these things that I mentioned today. All right, so I'm out of here. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.